Are you looking to buy or sell a home in Lewis County? Here's what you need to know. But first, hey everyone, I'm Aaron Millam with Premier Property Group. I help people achieve financial security and freedom through real estate. Now that we got that out of the way, let's dig in. First of all, prices are rising. The average monthly sales price is up 2% year over year. Second, homes are selling faster. Well, kind of. They're actually only down one day year over year. Lastly, total home sales are way down. We sold only 44 units in the month of January. So now you know the numbers, but what do the numbers mean? I don't know what that means? No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. No, it's not. It's it gets gross. the people going. It's the headline for me is total sales. So let's start there. This is actually the reason I've been making videos the last 18 months saying there's not gonna be a pricing crash. Now, even though we've only closed 44 units in January, we've been putting on either fewer homes or just a little bit above that amount each month. So the inventory is still going down. Obviously, that puts a tremendous strain on demand in our county. Now, imagine if the interest rates go down and all those buyers waiting on the sidelines jump in. And it has been projected that the interest rates are supposed to drop four times this year. So you can imagine what that's gonna do to prices going forward. Next, let's take a look at days on market. A difference of one day is not much to talk about, so I'll skip that part. The only thing I will say is look for that to continue to decrease. If your home is not priced correctly, you can expect it to expire. Now, when a home expires from the market, the days on market is not recorded. That said, if you're priced right, you're going to see multiple offers depending on the price bracket your home sits in. This is what we're seeing and this is why the time on market is trending downward once again. As more and more sellers and agents get acclimated to the current market. Now, just a little shameless plug, my average days on market is a full six weeks faster than the average in Lewis County. That may or may not be important to you, but I, I just wanted to throw that out there. Finally, you may have noticed how all the doom and gloom articles out there have started to change their tune. Nobody is talking about a crash anymore, and it turns out most of those people were trying to sell something. I've done a few videos you can check out on my channel where I've reviewed their splicing of the market data. Now, eventually, home buyers will acclimate to the interest rates, even if they don't come down like they're projected to. That said, the only real way to bring down prices is to totally change and or destroy the economy. Given recent times, that may not be so far-fetched. Or another thing that could happen is a bunch of sellers put all their homes on the market all at once and supply finally outweighs demand. But as it currently stands, we're about a decade behind in supply when compared to buyer demand. So your real question boils down to, is now a good time to buy or should I wait? Unfortunately, there's no one size fits all answer here. Essentially, if you want to buy and you can afford to buy, now is a great time. In real estate, over the long haul, things only go up in value because they're not making land anymore. Now, everyone who's waited the last couple of years or told you to wait has missed out on hundreds of thousands of dollars of equity. So this is where your agent comes in. They should be educating and informing you about the current state of the market and allowing you to make the best decision for yourself. Now, if you're not quite ready to buy, but want some more information, check out my free buyer's guide on the road to home. I'll link it in the description below.